Lordy! It's raining, humidity's all jacked up, so guitars aren't staying in tune. But, I always got an excuse, don't I? Yes, I do. Um, my pedals are not working. How weird. One works, but all the rest don't. Makes no sense. Uh, that goes in there. That's that. I don't get it. Because if one works, they all gotta work. Let me see. Thanksgiving Day stories usually wanted to revolve <laughs> have something to do with Randy. Well, I'm playing Randy guitars. These are it. This is the holy grail of guitars. You gotta have the Concord and you gotta have the friggin' first friggin' Rhodes. This is it. So they fixed this problem, which he didn't really, uh, you know, they laid out a piece of maple. This is the story. He even told it to me. In fact, I was down there when they when they were working on it. They'd already started, you know. But he sketched out this exact thing, which I told you the other day. And this one looks even more like the airplane. Looks like the airplane as he was walking up on it. With the tail and the nose down so Grover did not uh, invent this style of headstock he had to say that in order to 
copyright it because everything was left hanging because Randy was uh, taken from us in a murder-suicide. Uh, so, no one was expecting that, so... Everybody is reaping the benefits of that. And Jackson was one of them. And uh, Sharon, another. And just a lot of people. When, uh, I guess, just a fair amount would have been nice if it would have went to, uh, you know, Dolores Rhodes. But it didn't. And that kind of bugs me. A lot of things bug me about it. But, I don't harp on it. And I don't ever put up, you know, uh, Randy Rose and his birth and other date. Don't do it. Why? You're supposed to be keeping his, his name alive and his uh, memory and his, uh, his playing. What he did, if I could just see one guitar player that's like in his teens... Besides the one guy over in England who's, I don't think he's in his teens anymore. But I mean, there's there's dozens of kids that, you know, have discovered Van Halen and then they pick it up for a little bit and then they drop it and get into the boring crap. So I was going to tell you, I want you to get online and look up Ginger. J-I-N-J-E-R. And uh, that band is some kick ass kicking stuff, man. I'm telling you right there. If I could have found a singer like that in the 80s, that would have been great. sound like that because this is a custom uh, Seymour uh, yeah because the ones that they put in was the basically the first distortion he wanted uh, what he had in his uh, in the polka dot V which was a you know a, a super distortion but Apparently, Jackson thought that his new pickup winder, Seymour Duncan, could wind a, you know, a jack or a super distortion type pickup. So that's what was put into this. That's what that's supposed to be. And that's supposed to be the cop, a copy of a PAF. They call it the 59. Because 59 less Paul, blah, 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 blah. So... Uh, you know, I prefer to go with DeMarzio's when possible. Uh, this is just something that 
you know, once it started, I didn't want to stop. Because I'm like, this is what I want it to sound like. I want it to sound like, you know, like the one that Randy had in there, but a little more, a little warmer. And a little uh, more distort, like a little more output. So, it took three times, and they finally got it. And it turns out that this thing is putting out somewhere around 12 and uh it's just it's perfect i mean listen to the growl on <laughs> teach you about a uh, half and whole step uh, scales I think it was I'm like well yeah of course you know it's it's uh, basically the what I would I wasn't taught that they were half and whole step scales I was taught that this is a scale that you can play over like a if you're playing an A, G, C, D progression or whatever. <laughs> keep thinking well, I better play some of that you know those you know scales that run into that you know he, and they're called half step whole step whatever you know so you're, so you're basically I'm not going like say I'm playing an E so there's a scale down here and then there's a scale uh, there's this pentatonic blah, 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 and then here and then here and I'm kind of stuck to those you know, scales. If I'm playing an E, and this that's all I do. <clears throat> and these half step, whole step is to me all I did it was kind of what I opened my eyes to it was that's what I was trying to tell the guy is look at this run. This is the first thing he taught me because I already had chords down good. So he taught me the uh alternate picking exercise. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Until I got my Kaler, it was 9 gauge Ernie Balls. As soon as I got the Kaler, I went to 10 gauge uh, GHS Boomers because that's what Craig used. I think, I'm pretty sure uh, Randy used Boomers. Everybody I knew. So, uh, yeah, I switched from Ernie Ball only because that's what Ace used, Ace freely used, to. Uh, GHS 10 gauge. Thanksgiving Day slaughter, but what I want you to see and to look at that. These these are the two. These are the babies. So these are the ones that started. This was the first that was based off the Concorde airplane, which they don't even fly that anymore. And he said there we got some problems here like access to the neck so they took care of that mike shannon took care of it as far as from what i remember he's the one that redesigned it and then sent it off to randy and randy's like you know tripping out and then he decides to use it for uh flying high again and i think believer but i'm not sure so i won't say it for sure but yeah so there is the correct strap with this this is a beautiful guitar isn't it it's just gorgeous to look at and i would play it but it is way out <laughs> 